So, um, you brought up Harvest Moon a lot, and uh, I'm not really sure what the relationship is between uh, Story of Seasons and Harvest Moon. Uh, can you explain to me what that is? So, Story of Season is the new IP. Uh, so, what previously was Harvest Moon is now Story of Seasons because we had a little title change. Uh, but the whole um, idea behind it is before when we created um, the Bokujo Monogatari or what Harvest our previous Harvest Moon, it was always um, we we created for the Japanese audience, and then once the game was done, that was uh, pretty much done, and then we give that to the U.S. audience and we localize it and translate it. But starting from Story of Seasons, since we're all, uh, under the same group and same uh, under the same umbrella, we get to communicate more directly. So I don't think that for this title, uh, it's done yet and I wanted to make a little more um, fine-tuning for the US audience so not to change it but for the US audience to experience the same exact um, experience or emotional feelings that the Japanese audience will be experiencing great and, and these questions are not all Harvest Moon related but uh, another thing I want to know is how do you plan on differentiating yourself from Harvest Moon because there is a new Harvest Moon game out I'm just wondering um, how is this game going to make itself distinct from the you know the farming game most people know, you know, as the main farming game on uh, portable systems. So uh, we have uh, we've been creating the, the series for 18 years, so we do have a lot of experience behind it. Um, and then for this title, uh, uh, the other Harvest Moon had a, like a different way of looking at it than I, I we did. But I don't think that's a bad thing. That um, there's a lot of social game that's um, you know, farming related, farming simulated related. So. As long as there's like more vitality or more uh, juice or more hype within the farming uh, simulation game genre, I'm all for it and I'm just wish that we can excel best in what we're good at. So uh, one of my favorite farm simulator games was uh, last year's Rune Factory 4. That was the next Seed Marvelous uh, production and I'm just curious as to whether uh, this new game will pick up anything from that because uh, I enjoyed that game so much because it cut down a lot of, of the tedium that is sometimes in these games where you're doing a lot of hard work with little payoff but in, in Rune Factory 4 there were just rewards everywhere, you were leveling up everything and there was just always something for you to do and I'm curious as to whether you learned anything from the production of this game or if you're lending any of the Rune Factory elements to uh, Story of Seasons. So in the very beginning when we started um, the Bokujo Monogatari series, which was 18 years ago, and after a few years after that, we wanted to branch out a little more in the far fantasy world, which is where um, Rune Factory came in. And in the very beginning, we were sort of within the same company, but we were um, sort of looking at each other as a rival. Like, okay, they're using it, so we wouldn't want to copy that exact thing. But there are stuff that people were saying that they liked and we were learning. So just basically, anything to make the users more easily accessible to like that enjoyment of playing the game so for example for this one story of Steve's and those walking speed of the character is much faster than any of the previous Harvest Moon series uh, and that was something that we learned from the Moon Factory to just to get to from one place to another place without being the tied down just because you're just moving or walking do you think that children are disconnected from this game's subject matter in any way? Um, just because, you know, every, everybody's plugged in, everyone's got an iPad, stuff like that. I'm just curious as to whether you think kids or um, even, you know, teens can connect to a game with this kind of subject matter. So, yes, it is, it's, it is about farming and it's about lifestyle that people aren't used to, but uh, every time we create a new Harvest Moon, or uh, in this case now Story of Seasons, uh, we always think about how to make it more accessible for like the current age. So we always talk about like should we still use our hand for, or should we just uh, upgrade it to a tractor which is more, a lot easier. But I think um, from a user's perspective and what we get from a user's comments like to do something little by little and at the end you get to see the end result of how you work to that process and you actually get to see it and like uh, the enjoyment you get out of it. It's not only for Japanese players but I think it's worldwide that you actually they get to have the feeling of accomplishment and if you think about nowadays they're, they're like even in Japan or US there isn't that many people that actually crop their stuff that they've been at the farm and actually get to experience it but through the game you get to experience how you see all the stuff that you eat today like how that's been grown and what people have to do so it's in a way it's like an educational tool and just to see um, 
what users are saying and try to react to it as much as possible without losing the essence of what um, Bokujo is. And I think we're sort of we are listening, but try to keep that keep it up as much as possible. And at least in Japan, uh, this title sold well, um, more than the last previous title. So I think we're conveying that message well.